In this presentation, you will learn how to calculate the rate of poverty in a group using the PPI. First, let's review how the PPI is used to determine the likelihood that one household is living below the poverty line. A representative of your organization asks a member of the household to answer the 10 simple, verifiable questions on the PPI scorecard. This usually takes under 10 minutes. The household receives a score based on the answers to the questions. The PPI lookup table is then used to convert the score to the likelihood that the household is living below a variety of poverty lines. This likelihood value is expressed as a percent. In this example, this household has a 42.6% likelihood of living below the $2.50 per day poverty line. Now, let's discuss how you calculate the rate of poverty in a group of households using one poverty line. Simply put, find the average or mean of the poverty likelihood values of all households surveyed. Remember, to find the average or mean, you add all values and divide the sum by the number of values. So to find the rate of poverty in a group of households that you've surveyed with the PPI, add all likelihood values together and divide that number by the number of households you surveyed. That number is the percent of households in that group that live below the poverty line. Here's an example. A small sewing cooperative called Kushona in Kampala, Uganda has 20 members. Kushona's manager wants to know the rate of poverty among its 20 members, so she administers the PPI for Uganda survey to each member. She then converts each member's PPI score into a poverty likelihood value using the PPI for Uganda lookup table. This is her data. What percentage of the Kushona sewing cooperative is living below the national poverty line? The sum of poverty likelihood values divided by 20, or the average likelihood value, 76.1%. So, 76.1% of Kushona members are living below the poverty line. Your data may include hundreds or thousands of entries, not just 20. Averaging numbers on that scale is easily done in Microsoft Excel. Can you calculate the poverty rate of a group by averaging the group's PPI scores and converting that average score to a poverty likelihood value? No, you cannot calculate the poverty rate in a group by averaging the score. You must average the likelihood values or your result will be wrong. Let's take this one step further and discuss how to find the rate of poverty in your group when you have poverty rates for a number of subgroups. This is common among organizations that have different branch offices. Each branch office reports the poverty rate to the organization's leadership, which in turn must determine the poverty rate among all clients for the organization. To do this, you must use a weighted average to account for the different numbers of clients at each branch. This is actually quite simple. The formula looks like this. Multiply each branch's poverty rate by the number of clients surveyed at that branch. Find that number for each branch and add those numbers together. Then divide by the total number of clients surveyed at all branches. Here's an example. Branch A administers the PPI to 15,000 clients and finds that 47% of them live below the poverty line. Branch B surveys 45,000 clients and finds a poverty rate of 35%. Branch C surveys 3,000 clients and finds a poverty rate of 21%. This organization estimates that 37.2% of all clients live below the poverty line. Here are the key lessons you should take away from this presentation. To find the poverty rate among a group of households surveyed with the PPI, average all the households' poverty likelihood values, and that percentage represents the percentage of the group that is living below the poverty line. To find an average, divide the sum of all values by the number of values. Do not average the PPI scores, average the likelihood values. And use a weighted average when working with multiple poverty rates. Grameen Foundation is committed to helping pro-poor organizations accurately use the PPI and get the most out of PPI data. If you have questions that are not covered in this presentation or in other resources on our website, please contact us by visiting www.progressoutofpoverty.org and submitting a message on our contact page.